in terms of studying in college, um, it really is a different beast from uh, studying in high school. I think the major difference is you need to find a little bit more consistency in studying, um, and cramming is a lot less useful in college than it is in high school. Um, in high school, you can get by studying the night before, um, but in college, you gotta, I think, find some consistency and some planning. So, something I recommend is um, just setting apart a time of the day, study for that class, um, and doing it every day or every other day, at least until you have understanding of that topic, and then going over it even though you have understanding. So being able to build on top of um, information, being able to retain information is really important for the course and also future courses. And it's not something that should be taken lightly compared to high school um, because the information you retain in this class is gonna be a lot more useful in the next class because professors just assume you know everything from that class if you passed it. Um, which may or may not be the case. But another suggestion, I guess, is focusing on understanding of the topic and not just studying to memorize. If you can understand it and work your way around it and logically build to your answers, then you don't have to worry about trying to remember every answer to every question. And you can work your way to it no matter what. And I think that's a way that has helped me a lot in my college exams and is probably the reason I'm passing my classes. Um, so if you can try to find any kind of understanding to grasp on to, um, I think is your best bet. Hi Good friends, luck. my name is Ariel and I graduated from Floresville High School class of 2017. Um, and I go to Texas State University right now where I study public relations and mass communications. And class of 2020, I just wanna give you a tip on what studying in college is like. And my biggest tip that I can give you is to sit down, go through all of your syllabi and just write down due dates and color coding classes. I'm aware that sounds very extra, but it works. So like have your math class be blue, your geometry class, that's still math. Uh, just color code your classes, put them in the planner so that you have a visual of what your semester looks like and things can't catch you off guard, okay? So color coding and writing everything down in a planner, okay? To be prepared is what works the best. I wish that rhymed, but it didn't. Yay. Hey guys, here's some tips for studying in college. First, get a planner. Time management is crucial when you get to college because your professors aren't gonna help you keep track of your deadlines and due dates. Next, print out all of your syllabi and keep them handy. Your professors are often gonna reference these and you're responsible for keeping track of your own grades according to how they're set out. When studying in small groups, it does help, especially if you have people with different backgrounds and different strengths within the subject. Next, Chegg saves lives, but only if you use it properly. If you don't know what Chegg is, it's a website that helps you study and do homework, but it also works out each problem individually, so you actually figure out how to solve problems like this when you move on to new problems. And finally, give yourself plenty of breaks, but don't quiz yourself immediately after you study. Give yourself some time so that you can make sure that you're actually understanding the concepts that you're learning and not just memorizing offhand. Hope this helps. Alrighty, tips for studying in college by Annabelle. Tip one. Um, you need to predetermine times to study for the different subjects that you have during the week. What I like to do was say only on Mondays I'm going to study my math and that is how I will figure out what I need to do for that class during the week. And then I had that for every single one of my subjects. You need to do that as well. I don't care if it's one hour a day for each subject, 30 minutes, space it out. You have to have predetermined times though. If you don't, it won't get it done because it's very easy to squander time in college. Just don't do it. Uh, tip number two, you need to figure out a memorization method that works for you and all of your different subjects. Uh, whether that be reading it over and over and over again, writing it down 500 different times, um, or a different memorization method. My favorite is to associate words with things that I am familiar with. And so when I needed to memorize globalization for a class and the meaning and definition, 
um, what the word reminded me of was American Chinese food, because what's more globalized than that? And so whenever I had to give the definition in class, I just thought, Kung Pao chicken, and then I realized what globalization was. So figure out a memorization method that will be very useful to you, because you will use it probably for the rest of your life. That is all. Something that really helped me out when I was struggling in school, um, and it's something I wish I had done sooner, uh, was to make study groups. They are such, such a good tool to use. Um, you can always be bouncing ideas off of each other, um, ask questions, um, they can help you out, and it's really just a really great way to stay focused um, and really just get stuff done. Um, and for someone who is easily distracted when they're by themselves, um, uh, I, it's something that really helped me um, just, you know, buckle down and get things done. So I highly recommend.